Hello everyone, Alex RC Freak coming at you with an install video on how to install the center differential. And this is an install video. So you already got it, you already built it, you already serviced the center differential. You put whatever fluid you want, 500K, 10,000 weight, you know, 100,000 weight, 1 million weight, you know, locked it with Traxxas 20 million weight. You've already put whatever fluid you want in there, in there. you cleaned it. Do not put any grease on the spur gear here, or the pinion gear, you don't need to. Uh, and you already assemble it together. So, uh, yeah. Basically, now you gotta go over the vehicle. So, what I got here is the vehicle. And I hope you guys can see that very well. So I already installed the driveline, the long driveline, dog bone. Driveline goes in the front, and the short one goes in the back. In case if you guys were wondering and uh, I got some like grease or something in my chassis I just God, I can't stand that you know anyway so what you do want to do is you want to take this stick it in the front there okay so I stuck it in the front now you want to take it and stick it in the back too before you drop it down so just like that just like that. Okay, now here's the tricky part. Now you gotta pick this thing up, set these tires aside, hold this with one hand, flip it on over. Start one of these screws. I like to start with this middle one here. You take this one and start this one too. These already have thread lock on them, so I'm not going to put any more on. I know some of you are like screaming through the camera. You never put any Loctite on them. Yeah, they already had Loctite on them. A little too much Loctite. So I like to get them all started before I run them in. It's a really good idea. That way you know everything's going to line up. I know something in the teeth. On this gear, there we go. We're good. So, anyway, you just want to start tightening it. Let's see if I can just use my drill. Actually, probably be all right. It's going in the loom. Okay. Now you get one. Once you just get one, I, these ones are already started. This is what I like to do. Now, this is just something I do. I flip it over just to make sure that the drive lines are connected. I rock them. Okay, they are connected. I turn them just to make sure everything is going the right way. Okay, everything feels good. Okay, we're good. So, oops. Okay, so basically, you can now finish it. One thing I don't like about these is that they're, this is like a, like you can change the bit on these. This is the Integi, a quarter inch long, uh, Allen set. Couldn't think of the word, but there's a two millimeter Allen there. And you can change them, which is kind of cool, but this is an aluminum, which I hate because it's kind of a pain in the ass because it doesn't magnetize. So they pop out. That's the only thing I hate. Other than that, they actually work good because they're long. You know what I'm saying? Now I may be making a skid plate right here for this. The bolts down on these four bolts here. I may make a skid plate out of like black plastic. I'm not 100% sure because here's the thing. If I make a skid plate and let's say a rock gets stuck right in here, it'll get stuck on the bottom of this and it'll blow out the plastic a little bit and it'll get stuck in between the teeth of the gears. Just something to think about, but I wish they made 
skid plate, but I'm going to custom make skid plates for the back here and the front here, um, just so that way they're good. And then, uh, basically, the, the vehicle is fully serviced at this point and rebuilt, I guess you could say. Uh, except if you wanted to do a steering servo change, receiver change, because the factory radio, I don't care what anyone says. I think they're trash. You know what I'm saying? They're not the best. They're, I mean, they're not the absolute worst radio, but I guess they'll control your RC car if you want to put it like that. They'll control it so you can drive around, send signal to it, I guess you could say. But I still think the radios are garbage. Tactic radios are just garbage, in my opinion. So, anyway. I've used them in the past, so I wasn't happy. I wasn't impressed at all by them, but... Some people seem to like them, but that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to use my Spectrum DX6R, or if you have a Futaba radio, you can use a 4PV, 4PX, or 7PX. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you like, whatever suits you best. I'm going to use a Spectrum DX6R. What I have with one radio does all my RCs, which is kind of nice. So anyway, I'm going to swap out the steering servo on this, which you'll need to shim it out. It's a Savox SA 1230SG. That's what I'm going to be putting on there. This is a 25-tooth spline factory aluminum servo horn. Uh, I'm going to leave that like it is. Uh, I'm going to bump the punch control up to probably level 7. Level 5. I'll probably do level 5 because right now the factory preset is level 4. I may do level 5 to like 6 or 7. I haven't made up my mind yet. So, like I say. Um, anywho. Uh, yeah. And then you got to plug in your motor, which, you know, let's do that actually real quick. So these are color-coded. So you just want to plug that one in like, like that. It fits snugly in there. Push that one all the way down to the bottom. Take your yellow one. Plug that in. That fits snug. You want to make sure these all fit snug. There you go. They all do. And you just put them in like that. And then, bam. You now you got your on-off switch here. You got your on off switch here, you got your set switch and program for switch right here. So, um, yeah. But uh, next will be the, uh, I have an extra receiver, two channel receiver lying around. I don't know if it'll fit in there. Um, can't remember if it will or not. I'm pretty sure it will. So, hopefully it will. But uh, definitely getting rid of this because that servo is junk. I'm going to be tightening up the servo saver uh, spring also. So I'll be loosening this, loosening this top plate, and doing that. This uh, metal aluminum top plate here I'll be loosening and uh, tightening up that servo saver mount. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And for this build, you know, kind of tear down, I guess you could say, series. So it does mean a lot. Anyway, and I'm going to be custom making dirt guards for the back here, the bowl right here. Custom making dirt guards that stick up a little higher. So... Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Alex RC Freak, out. Peace.